for studying the degenerative diseases of the central nervous system. <clears throat> You're quite familiar with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, euphemistically called Lou Gehrig's disease, who was a called the iron horse for the New York Yankees back in the um, 1920s, and uh, he played for 14 straight years without missing a game. And <clears throat> so this man was the paragon of fitness and endurance, uh, including endurance. Great, great player, quality human being. Well, <clears throat> he sensed one day late in his career that his hands weren't working very well, and it turned out that he had a myotrophic lateral sclerosis. <clears throat> this really is um, a pathogenesis of deterioration, uh, sclerosis, obviously, of uh, the nervous system, where uh, motor neurons um, become sclerosed, the lateral spinal cord, brain stem, and cerebral cortex <clears throat> become hardened, which is sclerosis, and the peripheral nervous system uh, changes lead to a muscular atrophy. The um, involvement of this uh, initially is peripheral and it becomes more central and then that which really takes the person's life is uh, respiratory uh, demise of, of uh, the capacity to move the person's own lungs. Um, <clears throat> there, there are changes in the person's capacity to do uh, mental function, so there's a decrease in mentation. And then you're quite familiar with Alzheimer's disease. Uh, there are different varieties of Alzheimer's disease, but it's characterized by dementia as a result of loss of brain function. Um, it gradually gets worse and affects memory, thinking, and behavior. There's a tremendous amount of research going on to determine how to intervene or forestall um, the symptoms of dementia. Difficult um, affected uh, our family, my wife's father-in-law, seven years from diagnosis to ultimately going home to heaven. And uh, certainly <clears throat> there are things that we need to do to keep our minds active. Um, uh, playing a musical instrument and, and uh, using vocabulary and uh, exercising uh, have demonstrated um, uh, benefit to uh, keeping sound mental health and uh, being socially active and uh, uh, is helpful too. Um, our convalescent hospitals are full of people who no longer can uh, live on their own. They forget what's on the stove or really what a stove is for and uh, may have difficulty with activities of daily living. So Alzheimer's is, uh, because we have an aging population, uh, it's more of an issue in health care. And uh, <clears throat> it may very well be that your ministry could be working with people who have um, uh, this challenge. Okay, Multiple sclerosis is demyelination and scarring of uh, nervous tissue. And... Uh, when a person begins to manifest these symptoms, uh, this is available to you on E-Class, um, this PowerPoint presentation, and I'm not going to read all these things to you, but the person would begin to notice some of these symptoms that might be affective, um, emotional, or, or um, the capacity to, to stay focused. Um, and then there are, uh, in the various organ systems, uh, manifestation of this. This is uh, validated that uh, in patches of the nervous system, um, there are actually um, sections of a nerve or in the brain where um, uh, the nervous tissue is not functioning and that disrupts everything um, sensory and motor downstream sensory would be upstream and downstream affective and uh, um, and uh, effective um, signs and symptoms typically are mid-afternoon fatigue uh, cranial nerve signs from uh, optic to um, accessory and um, 
difficulty with uh, adjusting to heat. And then uh, Parkinson's disease is atrophy of uh, the basal ganglia and the cerebral cortex uh, leading to motor delay. And uh, the signs and symptoms include uh, a very typical gait, uh, slow movement, uh, bradykinesis is slow movement and lack of response set. So you'll see a person with moderate uh, Parkinson's who will come to a threshold or um, see a crack or come to a curbing. Either they need to go up or down and they have to really think about what the plan is for moving across those things and uh, <clears throat> their response set is not good. Very often they have kind of uh, expressionless faces, uh, neither happy, you, you might say this kind of a face and they're not in a, it doesn't indic in, is not indicative of their mood or their emotions, but um, that's not <clears throat> atypical. And then akinesia is a frozen cate and their autonomic uh, movements are Reduce the prognosis is uh, that it uh, is um, progressive. There can be uh, through pharmacopoeia uh, some reduction of the rapidity of uh, the spread of the disease, but um, we haven't found cure uh, for it. An interesting uh, sidebar. I put it in red here is that the people who have the most frequent occurrences or manifestations of Parkinson's are people who have the highest education, which is quite interesting. Okay, be students of the central nervous system. Bye-bye.